Hello everyone, this is Ron with Strangely Normal again, and episode 10 of my full playthrough of Extermination. If you'll recall, last episode I beat the game's first boss, uh, and I'm on my way to the power plant, and I have made a stop off to, to a crashed airplane to try and find some sort of missile launcher. So I just entered it and I had saved. Yep, I'm hurting here. In fact, let's use this heal right here. If I recall, there was a fire just outside the door and some monsters. Let's make sure my battery pack is charged up here. Okay, that's all charged, so let's see how this goes. Oh jeez, I might just have to do I might just have to reload here. Because uh this is already not going well. Oh jeez, I'm probably gonna die and have to reload. This is a great way to start the episode off. Oh jeez. Oh that didn't go so well. And I'm almost dead. Great. Well, I have to get past this fire. Oh, I need to go up here. Oh jeez. This is gonna get real hairy real fast. So, uh, hmm, two minutes in and I died. Great start. Great start to the episode here. So let's not just try and fight those guys, I guess. Make sure my battery pack is charged up here. Now let's see if I can do this a little bit differently. And there's a guy up there. This is going to be interesting. Dodge into Gary's bomb. Sure. Oh, great. Oh man, a healing item. Yeah, let's use that, in fact. And let's we'll use both of them. Well, how am I supposed to get back out of here? Oh, you can just fire up here. Great. Probably yet another death incoming. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here again. Oh, sweet. 
Oh, jeez. There I go, I'm dead again. So I think I kinda gotta deal with these guys, because otherwise I don't quite know how I'm gonna get out. Because I can't just go back out the way I came. Which is great. I don't want to use those grenade rounds, because... Because, uh, I don't know if a boss might come up, but she's in this tight space. Oh, he still managed to hit me. Great. Oh, and twice! That's... great. How is any part of this even... <sighs> oh, the fire got me. That's great. So yeah, get used to this, to this screen here, folks. I think I probably messed something up because I ran in and went to the save room. But basically I need to get up there and get that thing. How do these things even get back here? Seriously. Okay, well, I didn't lose any health. I got my, my infection rate went up some. And there's another guy up there that I've got to deal with. Yeah, boy. So I can't go back out that way. Yeah, that's even better that he has invincible frames. He has frames of animation where he's invincible. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, might as well use it. He's both. I'm gonna need him anyway. Oh, do I have to like jump? Really? I hope that's not the case. That'll be awful. I'm trying to get the camera to a point. Okay, so gotta refill my ammo. And here's the thing with this, like, it's just like, I'm constantly, like, like, fighting for making sure I have health and ammo, but I don't feel like it's because, oh, up, oh, okay, oh, this is, this is gonna be great, a platforming section, and this game is not very good at doing it. What was that? Okay, 
Okay, so I made it to this box. Made it to this one. Oh, I'm getting somewhere. There's something there. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah! Oh. And I got damaged. Great. These camera angles are not helping. do I have to do this to get back out? This is ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, I keep checking my health in case when I fell it wound up damaging me because there was one where I fell and I took some damage afterwards. So this is going to be frustrating and most of this is because the game isn't very clear on where on where some of these boxes end and where some of them begin. Like that. So I wound up having to do these weird sort of things to get around it and it's just not the most elegant thing. I'd really like to get that ammo. But this camera angle is just totally in the way, like I could actually see Okay. Oh, some grenade rounds. Okay. Okay, so I made it out of the plane. Step forward. Oh, cutscene now. You just put that thing on. Major, the explosives are intact. Getting to them wasn't as easy as I thought. I've activated the maintenance elevator that goes to the rooftop. Oh, thanks. Send into the power reactor using the crane on the roof. Once you've got the explosives, get back to the rooftop fast. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Huh? Hey, you, you're Roger? Roger? Oh, Major. something must have happened to him. Music does not fit the scene. Oh, these guys. Hey, bye guys. I really like how they were just standing there, not really doing much of anything. Oh, here's a document. The maintenance elevator. This is an elevator, like in the cold. This is in a, this is in Antarctica. Like it's so cold down there that like machinery just like breaks. Oh man, this guy he's messed up. Roger, over here. Roger. Is this another boss? Really? You told me to be strong. I believed in those words, but what matters most is that I believed in you. What I want to know is how come a tough guy like you let some bacteria eat him for lunch? Was that all a lie? Answer me, Roger. He's a monster, dude. He can't understand you. Dennis. What? Oh, this... What? This just took a turn for the strange. I gotta fight this guy?
Oh, this is awful. Oh, great. Oh, and he's just firing rockets at me. any healing. This is just so well. Is, is this healing perhaps? Because I could really use some. Fully replenish his health. Okay, so I do have at least one item here that I can heal with. Oh, that's great. Okay, so basically if he's gonna do that, I just gotta get out of the way. Two boss fights in this quick succession. Okay, so let's see if there's anything up here maybe. Nope. Oh, jeez. You don't, don't stop to reload right there. I was trying to get onto the platform because there was an item there. This is going to be loads of fun. So I have to get the explosives out of the hell out, out of the cargo plane, and then after that, I have to go and fight Roger. Jesus, I'm already almost dead. This is this is great. Okay, great. So now that I'm almost dead. Oh, this is this is going to go just swell, I imagine. You know, I wonder if I could make it back to the to um, a room that has a one of the healing beds, go all the way back there, even though it would involve a lot of climbing and whatnot. I just wonder if I could do that. Um, I, hopefully, I could, in theory, actually save some healing items. back up there. Might as well refill those three rounds. Whoa. 
was that? And of course, I hurt myself. Ugh. Yeah, I would, I would definitely be prepared to see a lot of this. Yeah, jeez. So I got those. So now cutscene and then book it to the elevator, I guess. Just let me skip it, I don't really want to see that. I don't even care about that document. Uh, oh, I hate this. This is my survival horror thing. The document is basically useless anyway. That's the thing. This game has all these documents, but a lot of them don't even give any real story. They just... This is the thing that you were just told to use. Oh, well, great. Thanks. Don't care. Oh, that's great. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Oh, gotta run again. And I'm already almost dead. Yeah, I think when I die again, I'm not gonna say if, but just when I die again, I'm gonna see if I can make it back to use this MTS vaccine, give myself a full heal, and then I can go in with just a smidgen more items. There is just no way to, to do this without getting hit. Seriously, I'm just going to blast him. Actually, I have an item that'll heal me slightly. That's good. There is no way to do that. 
without taking damage. Because if you stop to fire, he just does that. And even though I'm out of ammo, he took the time to stop and reload. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I gotta do this cargo plane again. Which isn't gonna be the easiest. And I'm gonna see if I can actually go all the way back to where the area is with the MTS vaccine room so that I can get fully healed, save, and then come back. Um, I know it's risky, but that full heal will be totally worth it, I think, and it will help give me more of an edge. Ah, <sighs> oh, jeez, how many of them in here? How many of these are there in here? Oh, I just... Oh, I hate that so much. They have invincible frames of animation. That is just so unfair. Grenade around. I don't even. I don't even know how useful it'll be in the fight against Roger. Oh, there's another one of those things. Okay, I want to try and save up all these healing items. I'm gonna need them for the fight with Roger. What? I had to damage myself to do that. Great. Even better. Probably gonna. I, w I am not gonna lie. There was a good chance I could die here because I'm at five health. If I fall and take damage, I will die. Well, it didn't kill me, but I now have to attempt it again. I think if I can actually get out of here, I should be able to get back. Come on. It's funny because it's so tense, but it's not tense because there's actually, like, scary. It's tense because I do not want to have to do this part again. <laughs> oh, just stay behind me. You're not... Come on, stupid camera. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get out of this plane. That's good. Okay, so I'm out of the plane. I think I can make it back to where the vaccine room is. It's gonna be a trek, but 
think if I can get there and save, it can set me up to be able to run back next time. Which is gonna be a little bit tedious. Oh, this this sliding path down is over here. I forgot about that. So this leads back down. Oh wait, I can't go back because of the train. Oh man. This sucks big time. Uh, so I basically I have to essentially redo all of this until I pretty much get perfect at it. I'm not going to bother with trying to get that missile. <laughs> yeah, see, that is definitely a mark of some bad design. Just, I mean, I mean, these, it's essentially, it's two big boss battles, not very far after one another. And and you have to fight a bunch of enemies in between, so it's not like you really have time to replenish your health and ammo. So I better heal a little bit. Might as well use that as well. I'm giving my best chance. the elevator. <laughs> Jeez, like, how do you get there without getting hit? It's a dog tag, that's just great. Honestly, this seems like the absolute best approach. Because I can I can actually dodge him this close. This is awful. Since I'm in close range, let's switch this out. Sure, let's do that. 
Oh. Oh, and he killed me. Honestly, that seems like the better option to try and get in close to him. Because far away, he shoots those grenades at me, and that's just gonna, it's just gonna wear me down no matter what I do. So if I can get in close, I think I have a better chance. At actually bringing him down. But I still have to actually get to him, which is not the easiest. Oh. I can get him to fall down here. Decent enough, I guess. Okay, magazine's all full. You know what, I might as well heal, because I'm probably going to need it anyway. I hate that so much. I basically have to risk falling make sure I get on there. Oh, come on! Really? Ugh. Decide, let's just do a short jump off of that. That's the way to do it. I'm back out here. Let's skip this as soon as it lets me. Well, this one I'm heading in slightly better than I have been, I guess. Actually, the funny thing is, I just realized something. Because he does have...
Okay, see, I'm going to go with this because the other one, which does allow me to, um, he automatically acquires targets, but it doesn't lock on to the glowing green bits, which are his weak points. So I'm going to try not using that. I'm going to try using this because if I can uh, get shots off to his weak points, I'll deal more damage. And who knows, maybe that'll actually be the deciding factor in this battle. This is all assuming that I just, just, just don't get completely killed on my way to actually get to him. One healing item. Oh, that's great. It damaged me, healed me, and then it finished. this, I guess. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. Yeah, just, just finish healing me, I guess. left in that. My best option, I guess, would be this. That apparently did eventually deal damage to him. So that's empty. I keep going here. 
Yeah, that's just my flashlight shotgun. The only thing I have left is the grenade launcher, but that's way too close range for this to be that useful. Stupid reload animation, seriously. Oh wow, did I beat him? That's amazing. Hooray! Man, Roger. Rest in peace, old friend. No. So what is this? Roger's knife. Okay. So I did all that stuff. Well, I made it. Didn't get just totally stuck on this guy. Well, what's this cutscene? Oh, now you can get up? Gee, thanks. Major. Where's the That's save fine. point? Get to the crane. You know what I did to Philil? Let me explain. I, I, I want you to know why. You know... Philil was a CIA agent planted in our team to retrieve a sample of HO213. You know, Dennis that never... Be. Dennis never mentioned mission it. was reconnaissance, but I was also given a secret objective. Our real objective was to completely annihilate the HO213, but certain factions within our government do not agree. So he was a CIA agent. Really? And some high-ranking officials from the Pentagon felt that the bacteria must be retrieved at all costs. It is a serious threat. It could lead to the destruction of mankind. The HO213 has been on Earth for a very long time. But it's been lying dormant. An inheritance from the distant past. This inheritance has become the biggest secret our country has ever kept. And no emotions biggest at all. Secret. They send an agent so that our country could monopolize this micro-apocalypse. It could end all life on our world. So the plane was sabotaged. No one but Philel was supposed to come back from this mission. You, me, and the rest of the team were expendable. This team means as much to me as my own family. That's why I shot freaking Philil. If someone is like dying, Explosives. I'll activate the really, detonator. You know, for someone who's dying, you really have a lot to say. Get over to the control panel and turn on the power for the crane. We're going in. Why'd Let's blow those bastards to hell. What? It's also stilted and lifeless. Well, let's find a save point. That's that's probably a real important thing that I that I need to do. 
Hey Major, you left your dog tag over here. Now let's see, are they gonna give me like a save point or something? Cause that would be awesome. Oh, but here's a healing item. Oh, it partially replenishes health. Great. Another document. Dennis here. It's me. Riley, listen. Look at the control panel. Oh, the obvious disc right the there. The disc was the key to the area that contains the final detonator. Really? This game Major. takes place in 2005. <laughs> we were well past me. using floppy disks by that point. This is the perfect job in for fact, an old-timer like me. In fact, even in the year 2000, we weren't using floppy disks like anymore when this game came out. Anyway. Use this to slide down the power cable. Remember your harness training, don't you? Major. Yeah, why didn't you, you just... must survive and escape from here. You inherit my legacy. You're now the leader of Team Red Light. Oh, promotion too. That's a promotion, Dennis. Now go. Major. Oh, okay. DVD ROM. Why does it just look like a floppy disk? I need this. Too quickly. Like, why did he just have that from the start? I mean, that seems like basic equipment. I don't know why there has to be a big long cutscene about it. Now, boom, the reactor blows up. You know what, if the game had ended there, probably would have been fine with it. But of course Jimmy, not. There's something I wanted to tell you. Your hair, it's like plastic. What is it? It's about the accident. Andrew's accident. I, I was there when it happened, and I saw it wasn't Dennis's fault. The whole plan was flawed from the beginning. Dennis took it harder than anyone else. Oh, some plot. Amazing. The fighting was so fierce that he couldn't even bring back Andrew's body. Do you know how much that means to us? They were like brothers. How is this relevant to anything that's like going to on? Someone you know better than anyone else? And he couldn't even bring back his body. When Dennis told me that Andrew had been killed, I lost it. I said some terrible things to him. Come on, Plot, finish up. I just up. couldn't handle it. I knew there was no one to blame. But it took a year before I could pull myself together. I know I treated him badly. I wanted to call him, but I just couldn't. I didn't know what to say. I told myself I'd apologize the next time I saw him. But as soon as I saw his face here, it brought back all that old pain that you never showed or experienced because you know you don't know Dennis how to show worries emotions. about you constantly no he never shows it he's ready to trade his life for yours <sighs> now not only your future but humanity's future rests in his hands he's hurt but he's a brave man he'll do it alone if he has to the least we can do is give him our support right yeah what are you gonna do Dennis you know, s sitting there talking about how 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 he's a great guy isn't. It's not like it's not like it's not like that's gonna just make it better or 
make him stronger. You're not actually doing anything. Is there even anything up here, or was this just a complete useless area? No, oh, a complete useless area. I need to get to a save point here that I don't have to refight. Got to take this very carefully. Oh, I was here earlier, I think. Yeah, this is this is way earlier that I was here. I don't remember how to get back really. I think this leads back. I can't quite remember. the point of this area? Oh. I can climb on this thing, I guess. So let me get to a save point. That, that's what I want right now. So yeah, there's that tower that blew up, I guess. Why make me go back through all this? There's nothing here. It's just a big waste of my time. Well, that's where I came from. So yeah, as soon as I can get to a save point, I'll probably end this episode here. That's the fun part. Getting to a save point. Where I like parachuted in. Oh, really? Do I go all that way back here for nothing? Great. What is the point of this entire section? Just have me wander around for no reason? of the rear entrance. How oh, great. Oh yeah, this is the very beginning of the game. Why I have to go back in through here is a little bit beyond me, but... but okay. There's a fire there, so I can't go that way, but... The fan spins for three seconds and stops for two seconds. 
But with the inertia, it's only clear for one second. They're just not gonna voice that last part. I really don't wanna mess this up. There we go. Got in. The moment I find a Dennis, the reactor core temperature has cooled completely. You did it! Hooray. Yes. But the price was too high. Cindy, I have a disc I want you to decode. Please get ready. I'll be back soon. Okay. Okay. This nightmare's taking over everything. Oh, jeez. Great to put me back in control. Just as... Well, at least I can get back here and get healed up and save. It's better than nothing. Oh man, listen to those guitar looks in the background. So, let's use up my full heal, and then I'm gonna save and end this episode. Seems like I'm heading into what appears to be the end game here. Sure, let's save. So yeah, that is it for episode 10 of my full playthrough of Extermination for the PS2. Looks like I'm heading towards the part where I'm going to be finishing up this game. So, I don't know uh, exactly when. I'm hoping within the next couple episodes or so, but we'll see how it works out. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all of you next time.